So good afternoon, Mr. Robert Kim, Director, Consumer Infocom IDA, uh, Mr. Stevenson, Director, Expando Electronics, fellow academics, industry partners, students, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Republic Polytechnic, I welcome you all to Future Scope 2013. Round of applause for yourself. Over the years, RP advocated, organized and supported initiatives very much like this. The recent Technology Day uh, was in October last, uh, last month, which many of you attended is one such example. Events like this bring together various partners and parties for common goals. And what are our common goals? Really, it's really to about training and preparing RP students to be industry ready. The moment they graduate, the moment they leave this campus, they are ready to work for industry. With the skills, with the attitude, with the knowledge. The second goal is basically an event like this, help different partners to explore collaboration in developing solutions for industry. FutureScope is a platform to discuss and share mega trends within the digital media sector. And we look at future technologies right now, today. The, new, the rise of new IDF technologies bring about inevitable change in the way we think and the way we do things. In fact, it reshapes our lives. So the question is, in what way are our lives reshaped? Let us consider. For IDM professionals, they have to go beyond being competent in the field they are working in. Now they have to be computer scientists. They have to be computer engineers as well. The seamless integration of devices from which digital content is consumed has made it necessary for them to be proficient in cross-disciplinary knowledge and skills. That's for the IDM professionals. For academics, they must now be accomplished in the tools for delivering educational content. At the same time, they need to be in the forefront of technology to prepare students for the workforce of the future. And for the consumers, the market has been changing at the speed of light. Consumer devices are coming up with new models, new designs, so quickly that it has become difficult to keep track of all of them. So for example, the cell phone. 20 years ago, cell phones were bulky with minimal functions. Right? I believe many of us have uh, experienced those days. The bigger it was, the higher the status symbol then. Right? So when you go to a restaurant, you take out your brick-like Motorola or whatever brand uh, cell phone you put on a table and uh, in Hong Kong they call it a Daiko tire. Uh, today phones have become slim and have, some of them have taken on the forms of pens or even watches. So that's cell phone for you. How about television? In less than 15 years we have moved from CRT to LED, from SD to HD, from 2D to 3D, and now to 4K. Audio is another area that has been has seen tremendous change. Previously, we listened to music. Today, we experience music. And there is a huge difference between listening to music and experiencing music. And you experience music when the high quality sound transports your senses in right into the concert hall. When you can, when you close your eyes, you can experience and pick up that perfect octave as experiencing. I believe our friends from Sennheiser will dramatize to you and show you what is experiencing music later on. So please stay around uh, until 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock here. Yeah? What about ICT? We, even, we see even more changes in this space. For example, 10 years ago, to me, the word cloud 
conjures those white fluffy stuff floating across the blue sky. But today, cloud means a lot more. It means shared, cohesive, stored data hosted by third parties. Times have changed. For companies who could not afford the high-end prices of servers and infrastructure, cloud has become an option for them. I understand video on cloud is one of the topics that will be discussed in this forum. One of the issues with video on cloud is that of bandwidth and storage. This makes efficient comp compression algorithms all the more crucial. I hope that you have a good discussion on this topic later on. So let me close and let me say something about our organizing partner, Expandor Electronics. Expando is a leading supplier in broadcast, audio and video products. They are continuously involved in promoting and participating in IDM projects by introducing the latest video and IT education related technology to the education industry. Expando also conducts seminars and training continuously to update customers and educators so that they are kept abreast with the latest technology. In 2010, Expandor uh, Electronics and RP organized a similar event and I'm glad that this time around we have come together again to organize Future School. So thank you very much Expandor for being our partner. Now today the organizers have arranged very interesting series of talks and exhibitions. Along with that you will see our current students and alumni showcasing their work that's outside. These students seek employment and then yeah and also seek networking ties with industry upon their graduation. So I take this opportunity to thank all of you for supporting uh, this event and have been very involved in planning of the Future Scope 2013. So thank you very much and enjoy Future Scope. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Thank you, Mrs. It is now time for us to perhaps look into the future.